which were right, white. He did try to dispel the racist theory. I need, is anybody listening to me? I, I, want, I, want you to, I want you to listen to the man who trained my grandfather and to show you how that was inaccurate. I already can prove that it was inaccurate just based on the years. Come on, saints, there's no rinky-dink ministry. And if you treat it like a rinky-dink ministry, I'm putting you out. A sin. Get on the move. I'm going to read it again. All you got to do is go to Google, put in Bishop Purnell. Google, put in Bishop R.C. Lawson. Holly, because of this entree, you, 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 you'll get me too. You with me? I'm going to start it again. When Bishop Lawson arrived in New York, he attacked white racism, but it was pointed more at the secular world than the apostolic organizations, which were white. He did try to dispel the racist theory that Jews were white. You know, if you preach that today, if you preach that today, they'll call you a cult. My grandfather being raised under a man like this would cause him to search out his Jewishness. I'm going to continue. When Bishop Lawson arrived in New York City, he attacked white racism, but was pointed more at the second world than apostolic organizations which were white. He did try to dispel the racist theory that Jews were white and other Bible figures were white. I can compliment him on this attempt to correct biblical racism imposed by the teachings of the Catholic and Protestant denominations. The teachings that blacks came from Ham and a curse upon the sea line by Noah needed to be corrected. I also believe race interpretation of the scriptures has hurt the apostolic church from progressing on into higher levels. Hey, listen to me. I need you to listen. I want to read it again. I also believe that the race interpretation of the scriptures has hurt the apostolic church from progressing on into the higher level of the messianic Judaism of Jesus. But Lawson could not finger an apostolic group that split from the PAW over racism and who denied black ministers their right, their, their licenses. That, the last statement was opinionated. But once you begin to understand Bishop Lawson, you can have a better understanding of my grandfather. You cannot be raised under a ministry that tells you, stop believing that all these people in the Bible are white. And stop believing that Jews are white. I need somebody to listen to me. Honey, so it was just by natural occurrence and only a process of time my grandfather being the student of the word and loving the word for him to run into the true name and run with it. He didn't have a difference with Bishop Lawson. He had a, dish, a, a difference with Bishop Bonner. And Bishop Bonner had to disgrace him because it was my grandfather who oversaw the ordination of all the ministers in the organization. I need someone to listen to. When you begin to understand this, you begin to understand that the body of Christ would have changed a long time ago. If it wasn't for people just loving position. But guess what? The right of ascension is being taken back. Because today, the anointing that was on Bishop Lawson is going to be on this house too. And we're taking back. We're taking back. I'm saying, I'm telling you, We're taking back what belongs to him. What belongs to Bishop John W. Purnell. What belongs to Bishop Haywood. We're taking it all the way back to Azuzu Street. And it's called election. And saints, what election is, it is the right to take your rightful place. 
saints, we didn't do anything to receive this blessing. You never met Bishop John W. Purnell. He only lived four and a half years of my life. But you were a part of his prayers. You were a part of Bishop Lawson's prayers. You were a part of Bishop Hayward's prayers. Holly, if everybody wants to get into all the, the doctrinal things, let's just remember that at Zuzu Street, women preached. I need y'all to understand. When you go back to the root, hallelujah, I need y'all to listen. When you go back to the root that started the whole thing, it was a woman who received the gift before Daddy Seymour. And Daddy Seymour ordained women ministers. So the divisions began as the ministries began to branch out. I need y'all to listen. But when you go back to the root of the blessing, you get the fullness of the blessing. I just don't want the Bishop John W. Purnell anointing. I want every ordination <laughs> behind it. Because I understand a spiritual principle. I got the faith to receive it. And the only thing you need is to make the point of contact. Saints, this ministry will go on, please. Each and every one of them. And saints, I want you to know that you are someone in Christ. Regardless of what you're going through, regardless of how bad you are, regardless of how good you are, you've been called. You've been anointed. It's time to take your right and access the throne. Let us stand. Hallelujah.